Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to Leading Our Own Way. We're up to part three of this week's episode of the show. We're diving even deeper into our conversation with this week's guest. Let's continue exploring their inspiring journey. If you've missed part one and two, definitely go back and catch up. Also, if you're not subscribing, please, please subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the show. See you soon. What are you learning about your self-doubt and your limiting beliefs? That I'm able to move past it? No, I can't remember. What are you learning about it now? You know, learning about which, say, I'm, 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 I'm looking down at the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The timeline. Yeah, and I want you to look at that event. Yeah. Of when you were eight. Mm -hmm. What are you learning new about that event? So as an example, if your, if one of your children came to you and said, Hey dad, mm -hmm. this happened to me at this, at, at this event. And I feel like I can't do things. So I've got limiting beliefs about myself. Um, I've got a lot of self doubt about me. What would you tell them? I pray I'd probably be asking them questions so they could open up a little bit more to me. Mm -hmm. But would you believe that they're not worthy enough? No. Good. Absolutely good. not. Yeah, good. So going back to that event, you've you looking down at, at yourself. Mm hmm. Seeing yourself from that loving parent that you are, mm -hmm. but seeing yourself, what are you learning about you? That I am worthy. You are worthy. Of course. Good. Good. I want you to zoom in closer to that event. Mm -hmm. What else are you learning about you? Great learning, by the way. That was a good kid. You are a good kid. <laughs> and as you're saying these things, and I want you to keep going, but I want you to notice the look on his eyes as you're telling him these things, starting with I am. I want you to see the sparkle in his eyes in that moment because you've come to him and he can see you. And, he's, and you've come to him like a knight in shining armor. He sees you like this superhero. And you're glowing. You've all you've you've almost got a cape on yourself. And you, he's seeing so much courage and strength within you. That every word that you say, he's taking in. So what else are you learning about you? Do I have to start with I am? Oh yeah, just like what, how you were saying before, yeah. Um. I am a, a, I'm saying it as the eight-year-old. Yeah. Uh, you're saying it as you, but looking at the eight-year-old. Oh, that he, he, you're a kind child. Mm -hmm. you're, um, you're a smart child. Yep. Is it, is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I suppose I wanted to tell him it was all going to be okay. It is going to be okay. It is. Yeah. He he was he was also happy. What he was doing, by the way, I want, to, I want to make that clear. He was he was happy on that day too. Good. And excited at the same time as all the other things that I mentioned. Okay. Good. But it was just a weird, confusing time. <laughs> it would have been, especially for an eight-year-old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything else that you're learning about that event that you're learning new now that you didn't know before? I don't know. Maybe. How, how about around safety? Are you feeling safe? Yes. Good. So what are you learning about that? That it was a safe situation. 
Good. It was. Yeah. I did feel safe. Good. You did. I did. I definitely yeah. felt safe. Cool. Yep. I'm reassured. Good. What about in terms of uh, connection? You, you, as an eight-year-old, you probably saw that there was a lack of connection. The whole point of that day was connection. Good. So you were connected, and people were connected to you. Sure, there was a there was a heavy role of connection <laughs> that day. That's for sure. Cool, cool. But I always knew that connection was going to hurt somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Maybe not at that moment in time, but I. I learned that later down the track for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there any other learnings that you're learning new about yourself? I don't think so. That's okay. You're doing well. Is uh, Hold on. Go on. It, it, it didn't come from that moment, I don't think. But I think approval came from <laughs> approval from that was the source. I don't, yeah, of it. I suppose I don't um, seeking approval. I think was a big part of that. Mm -hmm. But really, probably deep down, it was probably was vice versa. It was probably people wanting my approval. Mm. But that's not the way it should be. No. But it, I think, accidentally kind of was. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Cool. I don't know if that helps you. It does. It does. And as you're as you're as you're saying this to your eight year old self, now that you've given him more clarity, I want you to see his calmness. I want you to now see how he feels. I want you to now see how he, how easy he is now. Because what he thought he saw through the eyes of an eight-year-old was different. Now that you've come and you've helped him see with more clarity. Is there fear in that event anymore? Or is it gone now? It feels relaxed and at ease. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. Is the fear there or is it gone? No fear. Are you sure? I'm sure. Good, good. What I want you to do now is I want you to go up into your timeline and I want you to rewind the, the decision when you had to decide or when you decided that you needed to seek approval. Can you do that? I think so. Good, good. I want you to rewind the videotape like a time machine, traveling back through time. And just before you decided that you needed to um, get approval, I want you to stop the tape just before you decided that you needed approval. Can you do that? I think so. There are so many. That's okay. I want you to go back to the first, when you first decided. So possibly when you're eight.
Or even earlier. I think it came after that. Okay. Wherever it is, wherever you think is the first event, go to that moment. Rewind it. Just before you made that decision that you needed approval. Let me know when you've done that. I'm digging into the younger files of where I need <laughs> approval. I want you just to quickly just use your imagination. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be exact, but I want you to let your subconscious do the work for you. And whatever it chooses and it picks, it's exactly right. And I want you to let me know when you've done that. I think I've got it. Good. How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen. Good. Can you rewind just before the event, just before you decided that you needed to seek approval? Yeah. Good. I want you to rewind it all the way just before you decided that you needed to seek approval. Now, what are you deciding? I don't need the approval. Mm -hmm. But what are you deciding? That I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. What else are you deciding? That nobody's getting in my way. Good. If nobody's getting in your way, what are you doing? If your brain doesn't understand not, that's the only reason why I'm going back. Mm. What What are you doing instead? I'm doing it. You are doing it. And I want you to see now the possibilities, Andrew. I want you to see the opportunities now with this new decision. Can you see? Yeah. And I want you to see... From that moment on, all the way up until today, the new opportunities with this new decision, what life could look like. On the left hand side, Andrew, you've got your old parallel universe with the old decision. And I want you to see the contrast in the decisions. What does the old one look like compared to the new one? I'm imagining what it would have been like if I'd mm -hmm. done it. Well, the old one would look like it is now, right? Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. So with the new decision, what does it look like? What does life look like with the new decision? I would have pursued what I would have pursued what the event, why I decided to go for it. Um, yeah. I think that the, the events that would have led deeper in what I love doing. Good, good. So leading up to the events that you love doing, would it be easier with without seeking approval? Yes, of course, good. yeah. So this is your new decision. Now compare, to, compare it to the old decision in the parallel world in your old decision. How has that been? Do you see it, there's a little bit more friction? I guess so. It's whatever, whatever it sees to you. Is it the same or is it better? Is the old decision better or is it? Is the old decision the reality that I'm in now. Yes. No friction. No friction? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So seeking approval earlier, you said that it would be, it, life would be easier. 
No, I, I, I know. I, I know I've gone, my mind's gone a different route, but I've, I'm bringing it to something else now. It definitely okay. would have been easier for sure. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm going to actually rewind my thought process because I've been thinking a different event at 15, but I'm actually going to rewire that to something else. And that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. That was How old? 28. 28. Mm-hmm. Was 28 your first or was 15 your first? Of approval or? Yeah. No, but the 28 was a significant life change. That's okay. I want you to keep on 15. Because even though it's at, even though if it's at 28 and it's more significant, hmm. it started at 15. It's sort of like we're taking away the Jenga piece and everything else is going to collapse around it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can I, I can share what it it was if you wanted. It's up to you, if you want to share. I mean, this one isn't the probably wasn't one of my six that I originally stated, mm-hmm. but I entered. Um, I played basketball since a young age, and I around fifteen I went into a different part of the basketball world and mm-hmm. a pretty scary one, and I went from this very confident person to this lack of confidence because the stature was a completely different level Mm -hmm. and I was playing with different, just a different thing. And I don't think the leaders kind of understood my personality and how to get the best out of me. So I didn't feel like the old Andy in the game of basketball and I lost a lot. Um, so I, I think that's where the approval, and this is nothing to do with family, friends. It was to do with the coaches and I was seeking approval uh-huh. So the weakness came out as more prevalent. So I wasn't, the, I wasn't, I wasn't, I think I wasn't the basketball player that I was. Yeah. Because of that. Okay, cool, cool. And that would have been a significant moment. It was, it, but it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't one of my six that I originally said. In the That's head, okay. In the beginning, yeah, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Cool. So now that you, so now that it's come up for you, mm. it's come up for a reason. Yeah. Your subconscious wants to say, hey, we also need to address this. Yeah. Like it's come up for a reason because it's now saying, Hey, don't forget about this one. Mm-hmm. Right. So let's go back to that, to, to that, um, 15 mm-hmm. when you're 15. Yeah. And you've made that new decision and you've seen what the opportunities of this new decision. And then parallel to this new decision was your old decision. And I want you to see the differences in the quality of life and the friction without the the weather, the needing of approval and what life could look like in the new decision. Can you see the differences between the two? I believe so. Okay, cool. Which one would you rather the old decision or the new decision? Oh, that's such a tough question because if I didn't go down the route that I did go down, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. Or you could be doing it quicker. Yeah. And very true. Things that you do love now in the future, you could do it a lot quicker without the need of approval. Very true. Um, I have always been a person that have has been self driven and and wanted to do things. Uh-huh. That would maybe be considered more risky. Uh, no, not risky in the sense of danger, but, you know, up and going, backpacking around the world, say you're going to mm-hmm. do this, say you're going to do that, constantly hearing that's never going to happen. But somehow I made it happen. Good. And then I'd come up with another sparky idea and seeing the eyes roll. <laughs> But I always knew I was going to do it, and I still Good. did it. Good. But no matter how many times I went and did it, I still got the same reactions. It was never like, well, you know, you've done it before. Right. So, sure, why are you not going to do it again? Yeah. Mm. Cool. Does that make cool. sense? It does. It does. So it's 
those people that have that were that were rolling their eyes um you wanted you know to to show them how how wrong they were join us tomorrow to hear more from today's incredible guests and learn valuable insights to help you lead your own way don't forget to subscribe we'll see you then